Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, today, uh, this part of my tutorial will try to explain you what are the things that you need to know about this valve actuator. Okay, now the model of my valve actuator is Siemens Aquatix SQX62. Okay, once again, this is a Siemens product. Okay. Now, in my previous tutorial, I already show you how you are going to mount this valve actuator on a valve in the side, okay? Now, guys, as you can see, uh, this valve actuator is a modulating type. When I say modulating, uh, this is not an open and closed valve actuator, okay? So, this uh, modulating type, uh, it can open the valve. 0% up to 100% meaning it can go or it can open up to uh, well, let's say 1% 2% 20% 30% 40% up to 100% okay so that is called modulating type uh, valve actuator okay so this one we are using this to control the uh, mechanical valves or the chilled water valves to allow chilled water to enter the cooling coils of an air handling unit or an FCU. Okay, but basically, the one I showed you in my previous tutorial is about uh, air handling unit valve. Okay, so today what I'm going to show you is the details. So, as a BMS engineer or someone involved in building management system, one of your scopes is to know how are you going to uh, provide the uh, necessary uh, control cables, power supply, and the feedback cable here. Okay, as you can see here, uh, there are some details here. Okay, now R and Y. R is 4 to 20 milliamps, Y is 0 to 10 volts. So, meaning Y will be the uh, that is our uh, control signal. Okay. So, we can give uh, 0 to 10 volts DC to uh, open and close the valve, okay? So, meaning from 0 to 10 volts. So, 0 is corresponding to 0 or close position. Then, 10 volts will correspond to 100% opening of the valve, okay? Then, uh, we have also here the power supply, okay? So, let's see the power supply. So we have here our, so meaning the power supply requirement of this is 24 volts AC, okay. Then uh, 50 or 60 hertz, okay. So this one, if you are going to use this in the Middle East, so that is 50 hertz. But in here in Philippines, it will be 60 hertz, okay. Then what are the terminals? So we have the U, we have the M, we have the R, Y, G, and G, O, okay. So G, O is the system neutral, okay. So let's say if you are providing 24 volts, this is the zero volts or the neutral. Then we have the system potential labeled G. So this is the live 24 volts, okay? Then the control signal, as I said, the control signal, this will be the one that will open and close the valve, modulating, okay? So from zero to 10 volts, that will be our control signal. Then you can also provide the control signal of 4 to 20 milliamps, okay? Now, uh, in my experience, uh, I seldom encounter the current signal. We are always using the 0 to 10 volt signal, okay? Why? Then, measuring neutral, so we have a neutral here, okay? Then, we have our output signal. Now, what is this output signal? Actually, this output signal is the feedback status of the valve. Let's say your control signal is to open the valve 50%. So, you are going to give 5 volts here from our uh, analog output module or from our uh, DDC. So, when you give a control signal of 5 volts, then this output signal should give you also a 5 volts. So, this U will be our feedback. Then, Y will be our control. Okay. So, that is the... Uh, Terminals inside the valve actuator, okay? Now, guys, so as a BMS engineer, one of your scope is to uh, pull cable. So, you will ask your BMS team to pull cable 
for this one. So, how many cable you are going to use? Okay, so first, you will be pulling one cable, two core here for the power supply. Okay, then one cable for the control signal. That will be Y and uh, measuring neutral. Then one control, uh, one output signal, one cable for the feedback. So one core here, then another core here. So meaning you will be sharing the common hill or the measuring neutral. Okay. So at least you will be needing here one, two, three, four, five, six. So six co six cables. Okay. So you can pull here three, two core cable. Okay. So that's the connection there. Okay. So this will be the calibration process. There is also calibration process here. Okay. So we will do that one later. Okay. <clears throat> now let's check the terminals itself. Okay. Okay. So this will be the actuator motor okay then we have here our terminals okay so i already show you how you are going to well, what is the details of this terminal okay so as i said you're going to pull here i will try to show you i have here two core cable okay actually these are belden cables we are using belden cable when we are doing it in the middle east okay so what are the details here as i said let me show you so geo will be our uh, neutral now if you are using this kind of cable it will be color coded black and red so you can use the black wire for the uh, this is will be the system neutral then this is our 24 volts then this is our uh, control signal okay as you can see my two black cables are sharing the uh, measurement neutral okay then this is our feedback okay so all in all you need to pull uh, three cables two core each okay so if you can find uh, one cable with six cores then you can use that one or you can use also a, a five core cable here okay because you can always uh, share the neutral in the DDC okay so here now there will be uh, deep switches here okay so it will tell you what will be the uh, setting but this one I set this one to uh, 0 to 10 volts okay so this will be the this one will be I think this one will be the uh, connection here okay okay so this is the only deep switch i can see from this one okay for setting it but i think this is already set to uh, 0 to 10 volts okay so this is our valve actuator okay so wait a minute okay so this is the uh, cable connection from this side okay then there will be a cable entry there okay cable entry will be there okay then uh, you can use also end sleep so that you can wire it properly then you can label also the cable okay and the other end also so what i'm going i'm going to show you this how you are going to wire this or how are you going to terminate this one in a uh ddc okay so again guys this is the valve actuator uh, terminals the power the control signal and the uh, feedback status okay so as i said when you give a control signal of 10 volts sorry to 10 volts you should also receive a feedback status okay so let's say you give a 10 volts control signal then this bulb will give you also a feedback signal of 10 volts meaning it is responding to your opening command and it will tell our BMS or we can display it in our 
BMS graphics that the valve is already opening. So later I will show you how we are going to terminate this in a controller. Okay. So once again, guys, uh, to wrap it up, this is our valve actuator, uh, internal wirings. Then the valve is a, a modulating valve. Okay. So again, I have shown you already that this valve can be manually open and manually closed. Okay. So let me. So that is our valve, okay, with the valve downside, okay, that is our valve, then this is our valve actuator, okay. So guys, again, thank you for watching, and if you are new to my channel, please help me promote my channel by subscribing. And you can also click the notification bell if you really want to be notified if a new upload is available in my channel. Thank you. God bless us all. Bye for now and let's all be safe.